Hi everyone, this is Matt from Gamut Games, the other half of Lynn, who's currently playing Heavy Rain. Uh, she's going to be doing newer-ish games, then I'm going to be doing games that are probably at least 10-ish years old, nostalgic games, starting with this one. And let me tell you, this game was my childhood, so we're going to get started here. This is an old game, we're going to start a new game, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the PC. It's probably the best game ever, so I'm going to be quiet for this intro sequence, so listen. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrap bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle, was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Okay, so that was the opening sequence of uh, this game, and it really went rather fast. So now we're going to speak with Dumbledore after all these kids were in. Harry's the last. Uh, we're gonna speak with Dumbledore, who looks like he just came back from a 3D movie, kind of. Um, and then head off to Defense Against the Dark Arts with Professor Quirrell. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. I've always noticed that for about half a second he gets about ten years older, he's like, No, off the stairs and up to your lessons. Don't be late. Okay, so hopefully... Your gonna... first lesson is upstairs. Okay, there he goes again. On the third floor, Mr. Potter. Off you go. He's blind down a little bit. Okay, so, I mean, if you've never heard of this game before, you've probably heard of this game before, but if you've never played this game before, um, it's really considered one of the greater games in the Harry Potter series. Now, it... Oh, let's listen to the line. Hey, Harry! Remember me? Lon Weasley? My brothers, Fred and George, have something to show you. Follow me! So it's kind of showing its age a little bit. It's it's, it's old. It's 2001, but it still, uh, you know, stands the test of time. And it could just be me, with my rose-colored glasses, looking fondly upon a game of my childhood. But follow me, Harry. All right. But I think it's a pretty great game. And now we're going to go talk with Fred George. We're going to show us the Hello, basics. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in defense against the dark arts class. Good luck, Harry. 
Okay, so they're gonna teach us the basics of moving, how to jump up staircases, how to collect beans, how to trade wizard cards. But we'll see that in a second. Let's let them talk to me. We're going to teach you how to climb. Of course you are. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above okay. the bookcase is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. Okay. So all we gotta do is run straight at this bookcase. And Harry jumps up. Wonderful. So we're just gonna keep doing that and I believe in the next room is where we meet a very unfriendly character. Yep. Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. Right we'll there. take the shortcut and meet you there. I already forget how to jump. Um, okay, so it's right button. I could turn on auto jump, but I'm not a cheat, so. So right here is where Peek is gonna pop up. And try to- That's oh. Peeves, the poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. Oh, Peeves, Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. Peeves doesn't like anybody, that's his thing. He's just a miserable old poltergeist. Alright, so now we're gonna go in here. He's just gonna sit in there watching us like a creep, waiting for us to come through the next room so he can float in circles. Okay, so here comes Peeves. He's really quite easy to avoid. And now they're going to tell us that if we collect... Okay, just listen to them. I won't you're spoil it. You're getting the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you'll find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. Bertie bots every flavor beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us and we'll show you the way to class. All sorts of wicked treats, he says. By that he means... I can collect both wizard car no, wizard cards are from them. I can collect beans and frogs. So that's not really all sorts of wicked treats, but whatever. So we gotta collect 24 and then they're going to give us give me a little treat. Um, I need this chocolate frog here to boost my health. In the second game, you run away and it pisses me off. Okay. So, we have enough, but I'm gonna collect all the beans. Just because I'm so good at this. Okay. So. Thanks, Harry. We could have Now we're gonna get a wizard card. We need the beans for some. All but four. <clears throat> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Now there's something I'm gonna try and do. I don't know if I can do it anymore. Um, if I jump at it, if Climb I- Climb through the oh, secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck! If I jump at the card, jump on the card from just the right angle. <gasps> Harry you goes, get there we go. Or you'll be late for your first lesson. There we go. That's beautiful. Right into the ground. All right. So now we're gonna go to our first lesson for the flipendo spell. And here we meet the Goonies. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter, I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Mm. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Okay. I'm going to go here and meet Phil, who's going to yell at us and tell us to stay out and cough at us a little bit. Move along, Potter. Keep away from this corridor if you know what's good for you. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, now here at the end here, we see Hermione standing by the entrance to the classroom. But we don't like Hermione, at least I don't, so I'm going to try and run right past her and lock her out of the classroom. Beautiful. We'll talk to her later. I am P Professor Quirrell, 
T today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against oh, the dark magic I hate this. with the flipendo spell. All right, gotta prepare myself. Watch gotta trace over the spell, then hold and try and get at least fifty percent of it, and repeat the within like ten seconds. Release the button when you're done. This is miserable. Yes! Okay. So I got a 50. I got 71. So that's all I need to do. Qu quite good, Mr. Potter. And I can keep trying. Five points for Gryffindor. And if I get it four times in a row, then he'll give me a work card, but I never get it four times this in a row. Time, maybe two, Potter. maybe three. Maybe four. I pass mark is 65. God damn it. No, fuck it. Fucking whatever. He can take his goddamn spell and pretend to the fucking... Alright, whatever. I'll get like 2%. Flipendo. Whatever. That's not the shape I expected, Mr. P Potter. That's what she said, okay? Shut up. One out of four. Five points for Gryffindor. Well, it's hardly like it matters. Splendid. You may now enter the Flipendo challenge to p practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P P Potter. Okay. Here we go. Now, if you notice, in every classroom we're in that same blackboard as in every classroom with the bunny in the bottle. Hold down the mouse button to aim the flipendo spell. Release the b -b button to cast the spell. Okay. T -t -t Try it on that b -b barrel. If a spell Sorry. symbol appears over an object... I know you're back there, Lord. Whatever, we know he's there. If a spell symbol Alright, so I can use it to roll this barrel down the hallway. And Alright. And get to the next area. I can actually run okay, so this is locked right now. This I can get there another way. Here is a little secret. Run right through here, down here, and I actually don't know if that's a secret, but I figured out how to do it. C cast your flipendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Open the d d flipendo door. Flipendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. Alright. Getting those beans. Get oh, we're getting these beans. Now I'm gonna open the door and head back up. Okay, I don't know if that, now that I think about it, I don't know if that passageway that I discovered out here was a secret or just in case you fucked up. Oh well. Okay, so now I'm gonna get this. Switch the direction of the bridge. Well done. Now go on and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you further on. Okay. So the whole point of these is to learn the spell and collect challenge stars. And that, if we get all the challenge stars, we get I think like an extra 20 points or something for Gryffindor. And they're really easy to find. There's, this game really isn't that deep. Alright, and here's where I meet Nearly Headless Nick, and he tells me about saving. Hello, Harry Potter. I am Nearly Headless Nick, the Gryffindor House Ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point, if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye! Except that's not good boy, because he just kind of stands there. Oh, man. I remember back in the day on my old Windows ME 2000 machine computer. That save would take like 10 minutes, and now it takes a blip. Oh, man. 